In this video I'm going to show you how to duplicate certain objects around the shape of a circle just like the ones you can see on your page. In the first example we've got a little pink circle that has been duplicated numerous times around the bigger blue one. And then on the right here we've taken a triangle and just duplicated it a number of times around the circle as well. This is a great technique for making some cool logos. Let's pop on over to Illustrator and get started by setting up a usual page. We'll give it the name Duplicating Shapes. Profile will be print, A4 size, landscape formats, 3mm bleed, CMYK color, and high quality print mode. We'll click OK. We're going to begin today by grabbing the ellipse tool and we're going to remove the stroke color and just pick a blue color for our fill. I'm just going to hold shift and draw a circle on the page, just like that. Next thing I'm going to do is make a new layer from our layers panel down on the right here. So next to the trash can you've got a piece of paper with a folded corner. Just press that and make layer 2. I'm going to grab the selection tool and just click off this circle so I don't affect its colour. I'll now pick up a bright pink. Grab my ellipse tool again and draw a little circle. Okay, now what we need to do is get these two lined up so their horizontal points are centred. So I'm going to highlight both of these objects press Control A to select all, pop up the top to my Align Tools and Horizontal Align Center is the option we want, that pushes them into the center. Might just nudge that circle down a bit closer to the blue one, that's looking pretty good. Okay, the next thing we need to do is highlight both of these circles again, I'll press Control A. We're going to select our Rotate Tool from the toolbox, I'll press the letter R for the shortcut. Okay, so there's our Rotate Tool. I'm going to hover around the middle of this blue circle and when you see the word center appear I want you to press the ALT key on your keyboard and click once. And what that does is allows us to rotate this object. Now the angle that we rotate this object at needs to be divisible by 360 degrees. So I want you to write in 24. Okay, And we can check preview on and off to see how far that's going to rotate. What I want you to click, instead of pressing OK, we actually want to press the word copy. Okay, and when we press that, we'll see two circles there now. now if you press it, Control D, that's just going to continue that effect that we just created and keep adding circles another 24 degrees away from the other one. Grab your selection tool when you're done and just click off it and you can see that your shape is looking very good now. Last thing you need to do is just select all again. And you need to go to your window and bring up your Pathfinder panel. And we want to click this middle one here down the bottom in the Pathfinder section that says Merge. That just merges everything together. And now this is one big shape that can be moved around and resized. So let's just make that a bit smaller for a moment because we're going to make a second shape now. So click off this. We're going to add in a new layer. And we're going to grab our ellipse tool again. And this time we might select a green color. On your page, just hold shift and draw yourself a nice circle. Then grab your selection tool, click off it, and make another layer. So we're up to layer 4 now. On layer 4, we're going to grab our polygon tool from our shapes there. Change the color to yellow, and just click once on your page. And when you click once, you want to make sure that your polygon has three sides, because we're going to make a triangle. Don't worry about the radius for now, we're just going to click OK and we're going to resize it with the selection tool. So bring it into place, just resize it, we're going to make like a sun effect. So we'll get down pretty close to the circle there. Nothing too big, about that size is good. Once you've got that drawn, highlight both the triangle and that green circle and we're going to do the horizontal align center again, just to make sure they're lined up in the center. We're going to do the same as what we did before. Once you've got them both highlighted, Go over and select your Rotate tool from the toolbox. Hover over the middle point when the word Center pops up with your guides. Hold down Alt on your keyboard and click on that center point. Now this time we're going to change the number up. We're going to move those triangles a little bit closer together. So instead of 24 being a number, let's go with 18. It's divisible by 360. And when we click Copy, you can see those triangles just overlap each other a little bit. So they're going to be joined up this time. Like before, we're going to press Ctrl D to continue doing that effect all the way around until we get back to the start. Just use your selection tool to click off it. 
and you can see you've got a nice looking sun effect there now I'm going to highlight that go back to my Pathfinder panel and remember to select merge once you're finished with your colors and that will turn it into one big shape so let's close those panels off I might come back to this one hold shift and make it a bit bigger and there we go we've got two pretty cool designs simply rotating a shape around the outside of a circle I'm sure there's many more things that you can come up with you can also add gradients into these to change their colors up and make them little look a little bit um, more 3d have some fun playing around with that tool.